Right then, folks, here it is. This is the um, Corgi Impala Fire Chief. And um, <clears throat> David Rock sent this one in. Along with, he sent that Oldsmobile, what we did. And um, it's not a bad looking model, actually. It's been repainted, but I'm going to change the paint slightly on this one. I'm gonna, I've seen quite a few versions of these. Some of them has got like a it's, it's just all painted red like this. That's meant to be silver, that stripe. And it's just got the big sticker stuck straight there with the white behind, you know, the white surround on the sticker for the door. And then some of them it's got like, it's it's white sort of there, like the door there, and it goes up around to there. And you got all the rest is red. And then you got another one which has got the bottom half of the thing white. And then you've got the um, fire chief on the side there. And um, that's the version I'm going to do. I'm going to... I've actually copied the transfers. He did send some stickers through for me. If I can find them here. They are here somewhere. Here they are. And if you notice there, the ones behind are the actual stickers what he sent and they're like bought ones well these front ones these are what I've I scanned these stickers and I've made them into decals because I don't want the actual door part the white part I just want the actual badge so I'm going to cut around that badge so I can just have a a decal on there instead of a dirty great sticker stuck on the you know poking out everywhere and because I don't think it looks very good actually so that's what I'm going to do with that so um First of all, you got the two little um, firemen blokes in there, that. There is a beacon for it, by the way. We did have a beacon. And that, that'll that just plunk in the top. So what I'll probably do is put a bit of the old five second, fit or ordinary super glue, I suppose, just around there and glue that on there. Either that or use silicon in, in underneath to hold it. Silicon probably do it. And um, he also, oh, also there's an aerial, that's right. I've cut an aerial off, he sent me a load of aerials and that one just pushes through from the inside. So we got our aerial on the back. So I've got all that, I've got the rivets already sorted out for it. So there's only three rivets for this one. It's already been drilled out before I had it. And the, the O's, there's only the three there, like, the O's are quite big on it. So I've had to use these pop rivet, rivets. You know, you take the bar out and these go in, they seem to fill the hole up pretty good, like, you know, so I'm using them. And they're, they're all um, ready to go in, so they're like, there's nothing wrong with that. But they're similar to the original rivets anyway, so I'm not, I'm not too bothered. Now that just comes out, that's just got to be clean, you've got the old driver and the passenger bloke. And then you've got your glass. And on this glass, you've got like that little bit there that holds the aerial in, but the aerial's pretty um, stiff in there anyway, pretty holds pretty well anyway. I think this is a, a new repro screen here, actually. It looks a bit too too good to be a, an original. It's probably a, a, a flower's um, screen by the looks of it. So I'll give that a bit of a clean, you know, see if I can polish it up a little bit slightly. I don't dip these because I've found I've, I've tried it before, I don't know what it is but it doesn't seem to you know give it the second life, if you know what I mean, because it's new anyway whether it's a different type, because it's a different type of plastic, I don't know but I try not to dip these I'll just give them a, a light polish but not a sandpaper or nothing, just give them a light polish with the old polished stuff and then that should do it so anyway, all we've got to do now is get this stripped. Now, these wheels, as you see, that's all, you know, you can't push that up unless you grind that out. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to bung it in like it is. Take the tyres off. There's new tyres on it. So there's no problem getting them off. And all I'm going to do is chuck it in like it is. These are all clean up again. And that'll clean up pretty nice. So let's get on and do that.
Okay, here we go. All cleaned up. Polished the wheels up. All nicely um, wire brushed. Now, you're wondering why I'm holding this straw. Well, a guy from Australia sent, the, sent these straws to me. And they do fit a lot of these wheels, as you can see. And they're ideal for masking wheels up. So all you do is, like, like you see there, I just whack a straw on the end. And if I get me scissors, if I can find the bloody thing, you just cut a piece of the straw like that. And then you can put another one on. On the other side. Cut your straw again. You see? And you just go around there, do all that. You can tape the ends up with a bit of masking tape. So the stuff don't get in there. And it's a lot quicker to spray these base plates up instead of masking wheels up. It's an ideal, I don't know what size it is actually, it's, it just says jumbo, you know. I think I've cut that one a bit crooked, so i shear that one off again. Yeah, I think it's just jumbo, jumbo size it's called. But I think you can get them on eBay and places like that. And just cut them off like that. And then last one, put the little straw on over the wheel and cut it off. And there you go. There's all your there's all your wheels masked up for your um, when you spray your base plates. Don't have to worry about piddling around putting tape around wheels. Just a little tip, you know. I don't know if anybody already knows about it, but if you don't, there it is. Right, I didn't film doing this, but I've sprayed the base plate up, as you can see, it's been lacquered as well, so you can take these off now, they just pull off, but you can, you can reuse these, you know, once you've taped the ends up like that, if you look, you can reuse them over and over, until they get really manky, <laughs> but they will last quite a, quite a long time, because once you've, once you've sprayed your thing up, this goes a bit hard. So it gets a bit of extra strength with the paint that's gone on that. So they're pretty, um, pretty, you know, sturdy little things really once you've um, used them a few times. But they're a lot quicker. I mean, they don't fit all wheels, but most of these Corey wheels, they will just slip over the top. And, well, it's a lot easier than um, fiddling about putting masking tape on that. Right, the next bit, I've done this in white now. And I think the one that I'm doing is the the one that's meant to have two halves to it. But I'm doing it on this one. And I'm going to do the red on the top. And just have the white bit, you know, white. And I'm going to put them decals on there, on the doors. And I've, I've actually cut around them now. And I've got the white showing around there. So I'll get a bit of the white border on the decal showing on the red. So, um... I'm going to get this one masked up now because I'm going to put the red on it now so I've got to really you know, mass this up really good now to get this right because also that's got to be red under there I think underneath the, there and plus underneath there so I'm going to have to be really careful on the back of here masking this up because that's got to be red like underneath that top piece there because the white line the white line ends around here really where the number the height of that number plate there and then the rest of the top half is red so i'm gonna to have to be really careful masking this one up but you know we'll get there so this is the next day really for me for you it was a couple of seconds but i'm gonna mask this up we'll get this sprayed up and then it's gonna to have to be another day and i'm gonna to have to let it dry off before i can do the silver stripe so but for you, it'll be a few seconds. But we'll, I'll bring this back before before I spray it, and then we'll give it a flash of red. Okay, so I've um, masked this up now. All that's what's um, showing has now got to be gone, uh, gone over with uh, red. And hopefully I won't get any bleeds. I've covered all the insides of the wooden screen, so I don't want no red going in there. So I'm going to get on and spray this. 
and um, hopefully it'll be all right. I'm going to do it outside, so I won't be filming this. I'm going to just pop outside. I don't want to have to take all the camera down just to just to show that. You know, you know what happens. And then um, we'll um, come back and um, <laughs> peel it off with a lot of care, and it, hopefully it'll be all right. Well, folks, here it is. It's all, um, let's put my light on a minute, there. It's all been masked and sprayed, so hopefully this is all going to come off all right. So let's um, make a start, better get me old tweezers. I'll probably speed this bit up a bit. at all it's covered pretty well there's a few little bits in here and on the lights but I mean they've got to be painted silver anyway so that little bit there be covered up and I'll do this over same as the front though, there's a bit of bit of a mark there like, underneath but that'll be covered up with the silver as well so yeah that's pretty good and once the stripes done that'll be all motor all sort of sprayed in that's come out pretty good, I like that. Right, so I'm going to get the rest of this tape off. And um, next stage I'll be doing the stripe, which I'm going to have to mask both halves up. But I'm going to do that tomorrow. I can't do it today because this paint's going to be too soft. But for you, it's going to be a few seconds. For me, I've got to wait overnight now for this one to harden up. So, that's it for today for me. But I'll see you in a couple of seconds time with the stripe done. Right, folks, it's transfer time. As you can see, I've done the silver the silver line, if you can see that. But before I lacquer this, I mean, it looks pretty good like it is, really, but I want to give it a protective coat and a lacquer to protect these decals. So we're going to put these transfers on first. And then, um, like I said, I made up transfers for the doors by copying the stickers that came with this model because I don't really want a big white sticker all over the door so um, hopefully I'm going to improve how this looks with a bit of luck if I get my little brush ready my little transfer brush there's my transfer brush right I've had this one soaking for a little while shouldn't take a lot of soaking these because they're um the old made variety <laughs> and they seem to um, do pretty quick yeah he's coming off already that one so we'll get, get it moving let go a little bit longer he's a bit tight on the corners <clears throat> and I'll do one but the rest of it I want to do off camera really because I don't want to go ballsing up this because I'm sort of stretching now to try and not bang the camera with my head. You can brush all the little marks out and get it to sit nicely on the on the actual bodywork than what you would with a sticker. But I'm going to have to let this go for the rest of the day, if you know what I mean. I'm going to have to let, before I lacquer, I'm going to have to let this really dry out nicely. This here is actually, folks, the third day, because I had to let this dry to put the stripe on before I can mask it again once I put the red on. I have to actually leave this again for another day so as I could put the bloody um, masking tape on again because I had to put it on the red so I had to let that dry the bottom half would have been alright because I had that dry the day before but I had to let it dry again to be able to put it onto the um, 
red so I can cover it up to do the stripe. There you go. And you see it's all like molded around the body better than what a sticker would. So I'm going to carry on to these other two and when I bring it back I'll, I'll probably have all this painted by then. I've got to paint this up, the silver and put the back lights in. And it'll be um, when it comes back all that should be all done. And um, we can put this back together which would be pretty simple. Okay everyone, as you can see it's um bloody focus. It's all um been lacquered up. I've I've done the silver and I didn't use the Molotone end, I thought I'd do it the um with the basic silver like ink pen. And it's come out very nice. Now I'm gonna give you a tip. These here decals, these are what I did myself. And I found that when I sprayed the lacquer over the top of these they, they were alright. But the bought ones, the ones that came from, I don't know, model supplies or wherever they come from, they don't agree with being lacquered over the top of, top of for some reason, and they do shrivel a bit. So I've had to put quite a few coats on this to try and smooth the um, wrinkling out. As you can see, it ain't too bad now. It's pretty, um, it's pretty smooth now. So this bonnet has had quite a few coats of lacquer, but. The ones you do yourself, because I use the same lacquer, I suppose, is what I use, you know, to put on the car. It's the same lacquer that I use to, to make the decals. And they seem to not have any effect on them. They just stay completely smooth. So in the future, I'm going to have to remember, like, you know, if I've got any, well, these here, I can't print they anyway, because they're like white lettering. The only way I could do them is if I had like a red background, but then you'd have to try and get the exact red that you're using as a spray paint, which is going to be pretty difficult, isn't it? But that's the only way you could do that. But, you know, in the end, it didn't come out too bad. And like I said, I didn't use a Molotov. I thought I'd do it with the, you know, the, the stock silver like it would have come when you bought it, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, that's enough of that. Let's, um... Let's get this thing back together now. This little light, I'm going to put it in, it just fits in the top there. Now all I'm going to do with that, is put a little bit of silicon sealant on that. And I bought a new packet, I've actually thrown that old one out. Now this one here, it was two quid. <laughs> and look at the size of this thing. Two quid for this. And you see in places like eBay, in little tubes, like four pounds for a little tube of silicon sealant and then you can get one of these general purpose for two quid like for like ten times the amount well it's a bit of a joke isn't it so I'll, I'll just struggle along and use this and I've got me um me top that I've made for it because I what I've done I squirted a load in there and let that go off so that I've got a tight seal on that so I can just grab what I need to of it to put it on the old one thing like you know so if I get me screwdriver I'm gonna just squirt a little bit out now that'll be enough I only want a little bit I'm gonna put a bit of that on the bottom of that light S screw that back because I don't want this to go hard on me and then that one's all ready for next time then see so what I'm gonna do is um, hold that light in there like that and then just put a little bit of sealant around there and then that'll hold that hold that light in there for me if I can get it to come off the epoxy screwdriver there we go it doesn't matter if there's too much here because I mean the screen would be held in with some of it as well then so it ain't gonna matter. So just move it around like that. I mean, the screen's not um, held in as such anyway. It's not riveted, but it ain't gonna matter. It's all you need, like that. And then we can put our. Oh, I can't put a screen in yet because we've got to get the aerial in. Aerial just pops in there like that, and that little there, that. 
and he'll actually hold in there on his own that one well, maybe a bit that will push through that aerial if I can get it to push through a minute he's a bit tight and now I've gone and scratched the paint which is nothing new for me do stupid things this um this stuff is still a bit bloody soft that's the trouble give me a sec folks right I know you give me a second there but I marked a bit of um, the paint there when I was trying to push this aerial in so I'm, I've managed to get that out as best I can so I've um I've been over it with a cloth and I've rubbed it out and but I put the screen in because I found you know when I put that stuff in for that light I thought if I don't put the screen in it's going to be a job to push it in properly isn't it when, when it's gone off so I've, I've also stuck Ian as well so he's all done that's all done you got the screen bit that holds that area in so I don't need to put any glue there so all I've got to do now is just put the old men in with the seat in piece put the back on it's quite straightforward now and all we've got to do is just um, rivet this together so I put it about there like that lay it on the old cloth then the aerial's not catching get me um, get me super glue and me little applicator thing put a nice little touch in there and um, put all rivets in I'll use one of them I think and they'll just go in like that so let them drop in like that on their own because these holes are quite quite deep actually on this one they were already um, drilled out before I had this one so I am had to do any drilling on this so I'll have to put another bit of don't drip off yet oh bugger it'll be pretty quick with this because it it's able to drip off if I turn that around slightly so I can see what I'm doing I'm going to put another bit in there because the holes are quite big on this one drop the rivet in that load that and then the last one Super glue in there. I'm afraid to do it too quick because I don't want to drip onto the actual base plate. There should be enough actually for that. Power last um rivet in there. And that should be um good enough folks that turn her upside down and there we go get me closer out of the way what I've got to do now let you see it on the old one turntable and that's another one saved from the old corgi scrapyard in the sky <laughs> if there is one <laughs> Right then folks, as always, I'd like to show you the before and the after. This is how we um, how we had it when we started. Um, it was already drilled out, as I say. And somebody's had a go at it before, but I suppose they must have given up on it. But I, I like to start from scratch, so, you know, I, I stripped it all and got everything. Everything came with it, I mean, the, the decals and everything like that, the aerial. So really, it was just a case of stripping it down and starting again, really, and um, giving it a nice finish. So anyway, after we um, done our magic on it, well, take a look yourselves. This is what we ended up with. It's now got a nice, glossy, shiny finish. That orange peel is gone. And um, the decals on the doors I did myself because I, I didn't want the big stickers stuck on the doors. 
and I wanted to change it slightly and just have the white half on the bottom the straight white piece instead of all red the light came with it I'm not sure about this light I, I'm, I've looked at some pictures and it's blue so I might in the future I might repaint that light blue but the um, the deco I had a bit of trouble with was the actual one that came from the model suppliers the front one because I did lacquer over it the same as the ones I've done myself and it, it did pick up a little bit but I managed to um, deal with that with a lot of um, messing around a few more coats of lacquer and then um, well now it looks alright so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video there's another shot of it overhead shot um, if you enjoyed this video please subscribe um, watch again next time and I'll see you again very soon but until then it's um, bye bye for me see you later bye bye Thank you.